Professor Black Ops, Cybersecurity for the People, UC, and let's get it. Computer simulated attacks, uh, testing tools. These are testing tools uh, I use for smaller clients to actually see uh, the set up their computers and make sure they're actually configured correctly, the network traffic, and actually it uh, looks for vulnerabilities on those actual machines. So let's read a couple articles, then I'll show a couple uh, quick demo of one of those. I won't. I'm actually showing a video of somebody else demoing. Uh, July, I'm actually going to open up the uh, lab every day hashtag to the to, to the one where I'm actually going to start running these actually in labs on um, AWS. So let's uh, go over the article real quick and let's get at it. So Microsoft releases a uh, cyber attack simulator. Shall we play a game? Microsoft has released an open source cyber attack simulator that allows security researchers and data science to create simulated network environments and see how they fare against an AI controlled cyber agent. The simulator is uh, being released as an open source project, Cyber Battle Sim, built using a Python based open AI gym interface. So demonstration of a lateral movement in the network. So that's Windows 7. Obviously, that has a lot of vulnerabilities because <laughs> it's Windows 7. RDP into a Windows 10. Red Hat Apache, that has some vulnerabilities. And you can see the uh, attacker going to east and west using an S SMB hack. Uh, I guess harvesting RDP user credentials. So these tools, um, this battle sim and actually uh, infection monkey is another popular one we're going to talk about. So these tools are actually um, validate your network setup, your uh, patching on your environment, and it shows you what it can do and what it can harvest. The environment consists of a network of computer nodes. It is being parameter parameterized by a fixed network topology and set of predefined vulnerabilities that an agent can exploit to laterally move through the network. So that's kind of solar winds, uh, exp predefined vulnerabilities and agent and a uh, lateral movement. That was basically how SolarWind actually uh, <laughs> attacked everybody. The simulated attack goal is to take ownership of some portion of the network by exploiting these planet vulnerabilities. While the simulated attack moves through the network, a defender agent watches the network activity to detect the presence of the attack and contain the attack. So two things is you can check your network, check your vulnerability, and two, checking your logs and see how your logs are keeping track and notifying you that there's something in your network. To build the simulated environment, search searches will create various nodes on the network, indicate that the services are running on each node, their vulnerabilities, and how the device is being protected. So that shows you the node, HTTPS. So that's showing you the script to kind of build that up kind of what's happening. Configuration example of creating nodes in a simulated environment. Automatic cyber agent threat actors can then deploy it in a system where they are randomly select action to perform against various nodes to take control of them. So that shows you the, the SIM, client website, Azure storage, the status, owned or discovered properties in there, and the remote attacks. That's showing you as it goes through, it's building a network of nodes to show you what it can get to and what it can't get to. While many of these activities may trigger alerts in the SDR SIM uh, system, Microsoft's hope the security community can use the simulator to better understand how AI can analyze uh, post breach movements and better defend against them. So, right, so Microsoft is doing huge things in the cyber community. I did an article where I think they made ten billion one year, and just in the security area, I was uh, shocked by that. So they actually is a huge player. So let's look at another tool. Um, like I said, as a security analyst, you want to get these tools in your tool belt so you can actually go out and evaluate tools, help company uh, figure out what's going on with their network. And um, tools, um, I work for, uh, do a lot of federal contracts, so these are the things the Fed uh, contracts are ask, asking you to do. How's your network traffic? How are you controlling it? Uh, how's your zero trust affected? What patching are you missing, right? So these tools tell you that. So the other one is an open source tool called Infection, Mon Infection Monkey. Allows security pros to test their network like never before. The uh, 
Guardia Core unveils new capabilities for Infection Monkey. It's a free open source breach attack simulation tool that maps to the MITRE attack knowledge base and test network adherence to Forest Zero Trust Framework. Infection Monkey is a self proclaimed testing tool that hundreds of information technology teams from across the world used to test their network adherence to Zero Trust Framework and find weakness in their on prem and cl uh, cloud based data centers. Over the past four years, Infection Monkey has gained significant momentum and popularity among the security community. There's more than 3,200 stars on the GitHub. Infection Monkey is trusted by large enterprise, educational institu institution. More and more garner praise for the distinguishing industries such as Dr. Chase Cunningham, a principal at Forrester. In cyberspace and cyber warfare exploitation, Attacks to see because they are located and leverage the weak points in the system and network. In order to defend from this type of attack cycle, it's necessary to continually test the system for loosely like weak points. But this can be difficult, especially when dealing with large infrastructure that are bridged between the cloud, non-cloud, on-prem, off-prem, have a wider variety of potential configuration. Infection Monkey is one of the most well-aligned tools that fit the need a uh, huge friend from Chase Cunningham. Expanding the minor attack techniques and reporting, cybersecurity expertise, the DevSecOps teams continually rely on the minor development attack framework. I did a video on that framework. The minor attack framework tells you, um, it goes back and look at a lot of the uh, attacks and vulnerabilities of Solar Wind. It figures out how those attacks take place. It creates a, a blueprint or a playbook so your sim can let you know if those attacks are, are being hacked on your system. Infection Monkey, Infection Monkey 190 now offers 32 minor attack techniques available for, for testing. These new attack techniques enable cybersecurity, cybersecurity professionals to exhaustively test their networks like never before while also empowering them to easily communicate steps toward Actionable re remediation with all relevant stakeholders from IT to the C-suite. So it tells you the vulnerabilities, what has succeeded. It gives you a list of things you need to fix and how you should fix them. So you just have to uh, schedule your IT staff to uh, fix those and have your users test those. Improve usability as the cybersecurity skill gaps continue to widen. IT finds themselves short staff. Infection Monkey 190 has several interface improvements that ensure tools can be easily implemented. Most important value and no additional staff or ed education. Infection Monkey use interface has been significantly upgraded for configuration, making it easier than ever to set up a variety of different test scenarios on the network. In addition, Infection Monkey 190 now runs more stealthily to avoid interruption and in, in tax simulation and improve coverage rates. Uh, Guardian Corps is committed to ensure Infection Monk offers the highest standard of quality and safety as a tool. Deploy the enterprise product tool, centering cloud systems, deliver a secure and stable tool. So once again, those links will be in the description. And at the end of this, uh, please subscribe. I'm going to put a short uh, video of somebody actually using Infection Monkey as a proof of concept. Once again, uh, cybersecurity for the people. Professor Black Ops, please subscribe. <music>
For example, you can see that the monkey utilized uncommonly used port as an attack technique in this simulation. And if you click on it, you can look at more information. The monkey can also mark a technique as yellow. The monkey tried to use the technique but didn't manage to. For example, you can see that the monkey tried to use stolen hashes to log in, but it didn't succeed. Lastly, the monkey can mark a technique as gray. The monkey didn't use the technique this time. For example, we didn't use scripting as an execution tactic in this uh, simulation. To dive deeper to a specific technique, you can see exactly how the technique was used in this attack and also what you should do to mitigate it by clicking on the technique and looking at the details. For example, let's look at the private keys technique that's a part of employing the credentials access technique. In this example, you can see that the monkey found SSH keys on machines in the network. You can see which machines it found it on and where it found it on the machine. Beneath the details section, monkey also provides the recommended mitigation, including restricting file and directory permissions and implementing network segmentation. If you want to learn more about a specific technique, you can press the question mark next to the technique and you'll learn more about it in MITRE's database. And you can also browse the entire report as a list instead of looking at it in, in the matrix. Monkey 1.8 maps its actions to the MITRE attack matrix in another way as well. You can configure which attack techniques you'd like the monkey to try when simulating a breach in your network. Let's say you don't want the monkey to use system information discovery, also known as technique 1082. Maybe you don't want the monkey to test it since you already know it's compromisable, so it's not the focus of your testing right now. Or you just want to save time and you, this is the part you care about the least. Just click to disable or re-enable that technique and press submit to confirm. That's all we're going to cover in this video, but there's a lot more to unpack in this new version of Infection Monkey. To learn more, please go to infectionmonkey.com. Alternatively, check out the links in the description to download the new version of Infection Monkey, read more about it in Gardecore's lab's blog, or reach out to us directly in the public Slack workspace.